Hello, I'm Jamie Gooden. I'm in London heading to Cornium Barrow to taste the 2019 vintage of Domaine de la Romani Conti's um, new releases. Um, this is a very exciting tasting every year and um, I'm hoping that I'll discover some very interesting ones. So is this my glass? Thank you. Thank you. I'm Adam, tell me, so this is a very exciting time to be tasting the new releases, but how do you allocate these wines? <laughs> That's, Jamie, you always start with a difficult question. Well, it's very simple, actually. Uh, people who historically have supported the men from the beginning, which goes back a long time because we started with them in 1993. Uh, customers who are lovers of Burgundy over a consistently long period as well. Uh, and a combination of yeah. And uh, clearly, um, if you get an allocation of these wines, then... Um, you know, in three or four years' time, the resale value will be considerable on the grey market. Yeah. So, is that an issue that, that the domain has to? Yeah. Face? Well, as you know, we try and 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 uh, well, we ask specifically in the allocation process. We ask customers to uh, give us first refusal if they need to sell, and sometimes they do need to sell, so that we can then get new customers in on the secondary market with those with those vintages. But at the same time, uh, it's also practical and fun to be able to sell a tiny amount to drink for free the remainder. And that's fun. I call it justifying a passion on the grounds of practicality. Yes. And that yes. can work. Yes. And um, new customers, are you on the lookout for new always. customers? Well, always. And regenerating always. The, the customer. Yeah, we were speaking about that last night, is that when private customers reach a certain age, they begin to recognize that they can no longer buy as much as they need to because they've got already too much. And so they find themselves turning down the volume of their purchases. And as that happens, we trip into newer, younger customers, which is, is what we try and do. Is the domain quite interested in people actually drinking the wines rather than using them as investment <laughs> More vehicles? More than anything else. And it's the biggest... It's the biggest problem and also the biggest opportunity they face and we face is to persuade people to drink more. Which is why we do a lot of events now with all the vintage and, and encourage people to pull corks. And are you keen to get the wines in the hands of restaurateurs? Yeah. I mean, we call it a dusting, which is why today is, is mostly about the trade uh, and the on-trade. Uh, we call it a dusting of these wines in all the good and great places in, in, in the UK. And that's really important. And, and one of the things we're in discussion with the men about is a drinking program, a direct relationship between the men, us, and the restaurant of older vintages to actually persuade people to pull corks, which we've done with, with uh, another property before, which is quite fun. And a quick word on this vintage, 2019. 2019? The three words which I used at the beginning of the intro, grace under pressure. I, I think it's a it's a beautiful vintage. I'm biased, so you ought to ask ask yourself. Yes. <laughs> ask yourself. <laughs>